You didn't work for that in terms of an employed position or a salaried position. Uh, this is other money from other sources. Anyway, all the consumption in this problem adds up to 42.10. And then finally, we have an avenue now to get the total saving. Because C plus S is the income. Why? Well, we got these two numbers. Income of 48.50 minus 42.10. Well, that's exactly 6.40. And voila. Voila. S equals I, which is what's supposed to happen here. C plus I equals C plus S, so S equals I. I equals S, however you want to say it. That should happen in every single problem. All right? All right. This is the second day then, presumably, that we've worked through this math. That's how you do it. Every problem looks alike. All right, let's... Uh, Draw the picture for that, for all that work that we just figured out. What would the 45 degree diagram for that look like? I'm going to add limit as I try to get this paper all the way up. Maybe it's not even worth it, but I don't want to. Just a second. I'm going to get it. Oh, I see what happens. All right, so I'm just going to leave well enough alone. OK, here comes the picture. Spending, the vertical axis. Income, the horizontal axis. A 45 degree line goes on that angle that bisects here, the 90 degree angle, starting from the origin. Wish me luck. Not necessarily easy to do. 45 degree diagram. How many lines are there going to be? We just learned from the first example, there's two lines, one representing the C consumption line, one re representing the C plus I line. So, it's easiest just to draw them in first, then place the values in. The consumption line will be the lower line, it's going to have a slope of 0.8. Got it. Here comes C plus I. I'm going to try to make a parallel. Wish me luck. C plus I. Got it. Not perfect, but it's good enough. All right? Basically, we want numbers here, 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 and there, the biggest number of all, the equilibrium value for the income. All right, so let's reconstruct things. We had. Autonomous consumption, 330. We had investment of 640. 330 autonomous consumption plus 640 investment gave us 970 total autonomous spending. That was multiplied by 5 in the final step to get 48.50 of equilibrium income. How do I know that's equilibrium income? Because that point there where C plus I intersects the 45 degree line has got to be it. It's got to be where the spending and income, income are equal. The C plus I will equal the C plus S. And I'm going to prove that to you. That's an S there. I'm going to prove that on the picture. The last things you can add to the picture to make it really nice. All right? What if I were to ask you, where can you find the consumption value that was associated with the 4850? That is, we plugged in 4850 into the consumption equation and we got 42.10 for consumption. Where is that 42.10? Is it in this picture? It is in the picture. Let's see. It's a consumption value. We worked it out. So it's got to be on the consumption line. 
There's a great temptation, uh, temptation to go right there. Say, oh, well, that, that must be the 4210. Uh, it's not. Because the 4210 has got to be linked to the 4850. Keep going. Keep going up here. Go, 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 go. There. On the line that's brought down, that represents 4850, and where that connects with the consumption line, that height there has got to be 4210, the consumption value. Has to be. Any other consumption value is associated with another income, it would have a different value itself. We need to have 4210 right there tied to 4850. Next, we calculated saving, y minus c is s. We got 640. Where's 640? Well, here's a 640, but this is on the spending axis. Where's the saving 640? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the distance between the blue line and the pinkish line is 640 all along. But there's only one spot where it's all tied to the income value. Watch this. This space here is the saving of 640. Every picture, picture looks like this. Every picture looks like this. There, I said it right. Get a good look at it. Maybe you can stop the video and get all the notes, get all the important points. Because I'm about to go to the next one. Right? There's really nothing new in here. You've worked out the math. This is just a different way to present the material. But it does have a way of highlighting things. The multiplier, the autonomous expenditures, how they all result in other values for consumption and income. Okay, let's go to number two in this sequence. Right? From the book. All right, I take the next step. I just show, I just show you, uh, here, why don't you work out these values here? Uh, number two. Given an MPC of 0.75, Right? An autonomous consumption of, let's say, I think it was uh, 100. And an investment of, uh, I think it was 440, I'll double check. Right, 440, 100, right. Just with this information, figure out equilibrium income. Figure out saving, total consumption. Actually, total consumption would be first and then the saving. So that's going to be the standard question. Calculate equilibrium income, consumption, total consumption, all right, total consumption, and total saving. Right, three things, equilibrium income, total consumption, total saving. Well, you have to set up the equation. That's not hard. It's always C equals, this time 0.75Y plus 100, okay? We would have done this the day before. I equals 440. So we get C plus I equals 0.75Y plus 540, okay? I'm going to go real quick. Y equals 0.75Y plus 540. Bring the Y's together. Now they're all on the left side. 540 is on the right side. How much Y is in this? I have a whole dollar, take away 75 cents. I'm left with 0.251 of the income is 540. Agree? So, let's get y all by its lonesome, 540 divided by 25 over 100 is 1 fourth. I'm just going to write the fraction, 1 fourth. But wait, 540 times 4, 4 times 40 is 160, 4 times 500 is 2,000, 2160. For equilibrium income.
Bingo. All right? Real quick, let's try to figure out total consumption. C equals 0.75Y. Well, let's write it in. 2160. 2160. There. 3 quarters of 2160 plus 100. 3 quarters of 2,500. 3 quarters of 160 is 120. So that's 16. 20 plus 100, I'm getting 1720. Right? We'll see if it's right. We'll know it's right if the y minus c result saving is equal to the 440 investment that we began with. Let's see. 2160 minus 1720. 440. Holy equilibrium. Batman. S equals I. Check. Right? Alright, let's draw it. Let's draw it. I'm going to put this uh, right here for the moment. You gotta stay like this. So I need to do this. Oops. There we go. All right. The picture for the problem we just did, number two, at the end of chapter ten. Income on the horizontal. Spending on the vertical, and then every picture gets a 45 degree line. Likewise, every picture gets two lines. They should be parallel. They should be nice and straight. They should be your very best, as best you can. All right, mine's okay. And we want numbers there, there, there. Label, label, the most important number there, and then eventually we want a value there and a value there. And they're all numbers that you just worked out, or we just worked out here on the video. You would have worked them out the day before. Okay? All right. So, that's the consumption line, the lower line, the lower blue line, and up above that is C plus I. C plus I. Right? The consumption at income level zero called autonomous consumption. Autonomous consumption. Uncle Harry's gift is 100. We had an investment of 440, creating 540 altogether of autonomous spending. Spending that is not attributable to income. Remember, for the investment, keep in mind the story about the uh, Trenton ballpark. Some entrepreneurs decided to start something. They got credit from a bank that is financing from a bank, and off they go and work. That's not money tied to income. It's money created, an activity created, sort of out of nothing, but from the creative impulse and the entrepreneurial impulse to do it, and then sets in motion the rest of the economy, all the multiplier effects. So this is what you've got to be thinking about when you're doing these things, you've got to think about it. Anyway, 540 creates uh, there. Well, 
the multiplier was 4 this time. That was one of the differences in this problem. The MPC was 0.75, so the multiplier turns out to be 4. The MPS was 1 quarter, if you remember. All right, 540 times 4 is 2160. Right? 1720 is the value of total consumption at that equilibrium income, which means saving itself is 440. and perfectly equal, exactly equal to the investment. C plus S equals C plus I, S equals I. Now you know why I asked that question on the test. Why I have you keep that in mind. It's come back to have this uh, very important significance, really, in Keynes' model. All right, that's how you do the graphs. Every picture basically looks like this. I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, with other videos, I may do a few more examples in the book. Uh, there's definitely a video, a video I want to make that will help you prepare for the test where I do a six-question six sequence that's uh, similar to what you'll be presented on test day. All right. In fact, there's one of those in the uh, textbook as well. And then mock test four has, I believe, 30 questions in sets of six, five sets of six questions, working on that kind of thing. All these sorts of problems. Uh, and your test will be similar. The math part of the test will be similar to those groups of six questions that you see on mock test four. All right, like I said, I'm going to end the video here, right? And uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope it's helpful. Um, and I hope you like the music. Spot, did you like the music? Stand up, Spot. Huh. No, no, no. Up, up here. Back up here. Because you've got to get on the video. You're going to be the closest. Are you okay? Yes, 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 yes. I'm not sure you see all this, but Spot is just, uh, he, he just loves economics. Don't you love economics, Spot? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you.